Hi, I'm Jared and I lead Growth Athena. When we talk to CSMs and TAMs and members of support teams at a lot of SaaS companies, the biggest challenge that I hear is silos between support tools and communication methods. So a lot of the time they'll have shared Slack channels with clients or they'll be talking to clients in Microsoft Teams. And it works really well for clients that do have Slack and Teams, but for those who don't, they are communicating over email. So it creates a bit of a silo in the workflow of CSMs where they're talking to a lot of people in Slack, they use Slack internally, but then they have to hop to email to talk to other clients. And it's kind of hard to manage a lot of the requests when they're coming in from different places. And also creates a lot of inconsistency around following different issues if some are in email and some are in Slack. So these actually built a tool to um, accommodate this, which we call email to Athena, which allows support teams and CSMs to bring any request that's sent to email support into Slack seamlessly as if it were another Slack request. Uh, so I want to demo that today. If I am a customer reaching out to support Athena.com, I can reach out via email and just like I would with a you know subject line, I, I need help and maybe a quick description of the issue. And when I email support as the customer, it's a pretty standard workflow, just send it to the support email. As the vendor though, we can see in our Slack triage channel that once the email is sent, we are actually gonna get a Athena request just as if it were sent in a Slack Connect channel. So this is the standard kind of panel that you'll get for any request. You can see here, the subject line came in, the, the message came in, and if any attachments were sent, those would come in as well. And as the support agent, you know, I can go in, or the CSM, I can say I'm looking into it. Now the request is assigned to me, my name's admin in this case. And as I'm looking into it, I can go into the message itself in Slack, and I could just reply and say, you know, hey, Jared, you try turning it off and on again. So I'm replying in Slack in the thread, and this will actually get sent out as an email since it came through as an email. So as the CSM or the support team, I'm working entirely in Slack, but as the customer, let's refresh my inbox, I am getting the reply in email. So it looks like a normal email that came through. Again, any attachments that were sent, I would receive here. So I can have a full bi-directional conversation between Slack and email. Uh, when I'm finished, I can just close out the issue like this and it'll send a, an email to the customer letting them know that the issue is closed out. And that's the entire workflow. Thanks for watching and see you in Slack.